Welcome to our yarn dyeing video and we're going to learn how to dye yarn with Kool-Aid. This is it. Great Kool-Aid. Okay now, what we do, grab a little bit like this, my fingers, and just sprinkle it over. If, if like Mary this. Berry knew how to do this, she would love it. I'm sure Mary Berry would. Now a great thing about Kool-Aid yeah is we don't need to add any vinegar because there is citric acid already in what's the citric in the in this what's well we need a we need an acid to get these yarn this uh, to die uh, to stick to the yarn and citric acid oh that's a lot there why don't you come over this side or maybe do a little bit up there Now this, this yarn is yarn that we dyed a couple of weeks ago, didn't what, we? with the sprinkles? With the sprinkles, yes. Okay, that's, that's probably enough this side. And we're going to flip, look at our fingers. Gone we're gonna, black. Yeah, so we're going to flip these. Well, that's not right. And then we're going to do the other side. Oh, someone's printed out. Yeah. Oh, look. Look, I touched the yarn. Oh. Now, this, this yarn has been soaking, hasn't it? Yeah. So we need, needs to be a little bit damp in order for the Kool-Aid to, to die to it. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm getting some Kool-Aid off because it's gone all runny. That's because it's getting wet and just sort of dissolving. Dissolving in your guts, eh? <laughs> All over my fingers too. Probably should have worn gloves for this, shouldn't we? Yeah. But never mind. We also should have. Yeah, you know the, you know the um, um. I I doubt I doubt that there will be more. Have we flipped down over two? Yeah, we flipped them both. Hmm. How many more to go? Because well, I it. think this. Looks pretty pretty actually. I, yeah. Yeah, it does. Do you think that's enough? Yeah, I think so. Okay. You can use. There we go. Do you want to drink the rest of that? Okay. Okay. Now, you just want to wipe your fingers off on the, the yarn, try and get mm. as much of the Kool Aid on there as possible. It would be great. Mm, I just. <laughs> you were eating fingers, didn't you? Yeah. Come on, try and get some of it off on there because you've still got. I'll make a drink out of what's left. Okay. Ninja. Wipe your fingers like this. Mm. Now what we've got here, Georgie, we've got 20 grams of, it, these are both 20 grams, they're four ply yarn may, and it's uh, superwash merino, tissue silk and silver stellina. Can you see the sparkle? Yeah. That's the silver stellina and I bet it'll look really pretty once we've got all this dyed to it. Stop licking, your, stop licking your fingers. How does it taste? <laughs> Do you like that? you got a black tongue now. Right. Really? Okay. Just get the last bits off. Okay, now, you go wash your hands and I'm going to go heat this up in the microwave for two minutes. Well, in two minute, two minute increments. I microwaved this for a total of three minutes, two minutes, then two minute rest, and then one more minute. So I'm just going to leave this to cool completely as it's very hot. And once it's cooled, I'll be able to wash it and hopefully we'll have some nice pretty yarn dyed with Kool-Aid. Here we have our finished yarn that's been dyed with Kool-Aid. Uh, this yarn did need a little bit extra washing because of all the extra th stuff that's in Kool-Aid that you don't have in uh, commercial dyes. But it hasn't affected the the yarn or the sparkle in it either. You can still see still see the sparkle. And I love that we've got some very heavy patches in some places and some bits are almost bare. And you can still just about see the uh, very pastel pink that was underneath 
uh, that's underneath the Kool-Aid. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.